what I'll do is I'll just scoot around this um, racetrack, see if there's anything around here. That looks like a Karak, actually. There's a flipping Karak there. Oh my lord. Much better idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Spilshy, thank you for reminding me to do it on the ground as well. Hello, Brian here, aka Mac, and welcome. Today, I would like to share some gameplay from a recent stream, hence the 1080p limit, I do apologize. But during the stream, I set out in my vulture, hunting for potential salvage. Now, the salvage that I am looking for is not the salvage CIG have spawned in at Lagrange points, but salvage created by players from dogfights, bugs, or I suppose incompetence, which is often the case for my own generated salvage. The Lagrange point salvage spawned by CIG has been heavily reduced, which was to encourage players to salvage the massive amounts of player created salvage, as there is a vast amount of opportunity found throughout the Stanton system right now, plus it does help to clean up the servers somewhat. Now this time round, I made my way to the Yadar Valley, which is the racetrack on Daymar, and to find this place, you just simply set your quantum marker to the garden on Daymar, and you will not miss it. Now, lo and behold, I did stumble upon a derelict Karak, which provided ample amounts of RMC, more than enough to fill up the complete cargo hold of the Vulture, even beyond its standard cargo unit capacity, which ended up being quite a great payday. Plus, I did end up buying the trawler salvaging attachments just to test them out a little bit more and explore the racetrack a little further. Now, I had such a great time playing and things actually worked more smoothly than they have on 318 for me in previous play sessions. So I do hope you enjoy the video. And if you would like to watch the complete three hour stream, my VODs are always available over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother. During these streams, I obviously play Star Citizen and I do talk a lot about Star Citizen, its development and its current plans, future plans, and answer many questions from viewers. So I do highly recommend checking it out or better yet, come and hang out live I do stream Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays, 2 while 5 p.m. BST. But with that said, I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Please do consider subscribing here on YouTube for more Star Citizen content. Hit the thumbs up if you don't mind, do the channel a big favor, and tick that notification bell if you would like to be notified when my videos go live. A huge thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. What I'll do is I'll just scoot around this... Um, racetrack, see if there's anything around here. That looks like a Karak, actually. There's a flipping Karak there. Oh my lord. Much better idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Spilshy, thank you for reminding me to do it on the ground as well. Oh boy! I, I just did cycle them, Maddox. Let me see about getting in here. Or is it completely destroyed? No, it's shielded. Bits are falling off it still. It almost looks like they tried to escape. And didn't quite get out in time. Oh man, can you imagine 319 being able to just remove all these weapons? Oh, this game is shaping up so nicely. Sorted. Yeah, hopefully now that we've turned the engines off, it might... Well, that's not going to work. I don't know why I can't fire the... The weapons are there. That seems like a bit of a, of a danger. Stepping down here and it misfires. Now, can we get on board? It looks like the... The pod has just fallen out of it. I've got to be careful though, because last time I was doing this, it it crushed, it pushed me in into the ground. I don't think it's got an interior, you know. Yeah, there's no interior there. I'm just going to try and salvage it. It shouldn't have shields on if it's outside of soft death. Yo, Hog, how you doing? Let's do this. Yeah. 
yeah, being able to store, like, spawn ships with ships inside is going to be a... Oh, there we go. Randomly working now. Okay, gate off. Thank you, sir. Oh, it's saying valid now. There we are. Let's just see what this does. That's better. Now we should be able to fill up completely with this stuff. Do you remember when the Karak plushie used to just crash the server anytime anyone walked into it? Right, I think we're we might be pushing it there if we try and get any more. The Punipsian glory! waiting game, unfortunately, with that. Ah. Keep that door open, just in case. Most desirable spot, but okay. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to straighten that up. Otherwise, I can't get the other bits in. <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna push it. Oh, it's getting a bit touch and go though. Hello. Is it still obstructed? Maybe. There we go. That's got it. Oh boy. <laughs> Hopefully that's not in the way. I can get one more. I can't do two. Right, we are done ladies and gentlemen. Let's get out of here. And these TDDs will act eventually as places to um, get missions from. Oh, you son of a... Right, so... Yeah, 92.4 thousand. Which is nice. That should go up to 700. And some... And then another 77. So yeah, about 160, 170. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Ouch. 841 now. And I think... No, I don't think we have one in the... Um, in the dispenser. I think we actually took that one out. Oh, yeah, so you got the abrade. So, <laughs> extraction speed 0.6 to 1.8. So, the abrade is, is quite a bit more. 
with a bigger radius. But the efficiency is reduced. Well, actually, the efficiency is not too bad considering, whereas this one is... Oh, yeah, that's much lower. Bigger radius, so it's more of a surf, a bigger a bigger surface. So if you're scraping a big ship, that might be more beneficial because you'll be hitting a, a wider surface. We'll buy one, screw it. Or oh, we'll buy two, actually, just to... We'll give them a test, can't we? What's this down here? Let's check this out. Looks like something cutlassy, maybe. Or oh, is that a cutter? Oh, no. oh, there's a player. There's a someone dead there. What's happened here? He's naked. At the moment, you. Oh, we've just fallen through the planet. No. God, this is what I mean by bugs and annoyances. We're literally falling through the planet now. I think we're doomed. Oh, no. Oh, no. This... All right, we're going to try something here. Let's just hope for the best. I think we're out. <laughs> It kind of worked. Ah! <laughs> I, don't know, I can't see anything. I'm blacking out. I'm going to be a martyr and try that again. If I can find it again. Was it around here? This looks like it could have been the spot. Yeah. Let me just put it down here, maybe. Out the way a little bit. And I'll run over it. Please, 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 please. So yeah, do players have um, icons above their head as a friendly markers? Yeah, I love it, Drozzik. It is a beautiful little ship. No, I, I agree, Foxbert. It makes no sense to have an NPC out here. But then it's been stripped naked, so either it was a player that's come back. There, there, there could be, like... Bounty hunting missions can often spawn enemy ships, like these over here. We've got, like, cutlasses and whatnot. Can spawn over points of interest. And there looks like there's been two ships. Well, that's a razor. It looks like someone's either taken out a bounty and then, and then stripped them. If it tells me who this is, actually. No, this is a player, Tibar. So he's obviously come back and salvaged his um, his body, I guess. We will eventually get information based on who they are with the uh, medical tool. There's two razors. The fast ones as well. Someone's been racing them. And I would be able to take that off and sell it. Ooh, that's nice. Lone Drake, how you doing? Moondog, welcome. Uh, questions needn't be asked. We're just looking for some salvage. We, uh, just checking out what's happened. There's loads of different coloured multi-tools now, yeah. They're, they're all, all the sub flare has been chucked into the loot pools. You just go to loot them, Moondog, and it tells you their name. Thank you, Opeth. Yeah, if anyone is getting into the game, do hit up Opeth. He'll give you a little tour, and that's a very advisable thing to do. This is bad. This is not an advisable thing to do. Um, do have another player help you, and 319 will be able to take that off. That's a, that's the server. Not server, scanner. GNP, or Summit Nouveau Paradigm. They're a French brand. They make scanners. That's a quantum drive. It's like a power plant. Cooler. Shield generator. 319. We'll be able to salvage all that crap. And the weapons as well.
We could try salvaging it, see what we can get. Just everything. It's going to be so fascinating watching that whole thing come along, being able to loot weapons and components. I mean, look at this. There's just no way of knowing. We don't know how long this ship has been here for, that play has been there for. The fact that it's been looted and, and whatnot could be that it was uh, a while ago. See what we can get here. Oh, hang on. What we're we using the trawlers. Yeah, that's got a really wide. Not the best for a ship like this, mind. But we are getting a big extraction rate. But look at the size of that. Six, six meter radius. Just takes it a little longer, but you do cover a bigger surface area. Much better for bigger ships. Not necessarily for uh, <laughs> a Drake cutter, I suppose. I am James, yeah, yeah, Snake Pit. Is that what it's called, Snake Pit? A Dama. Good thing about this racetrack as well is I think it's on the pole of the moon, so it never becomes fully dark. I don't think, anyway. I might have just lied about that. Is there anywhere we can find out what ships will be unlocked for Invict? No. They are mostly militarized, yeah. Uh, Invictus is a... Hello there. A military... Um, there's another player death here, look. Is definitely a military thing, but... Um... We don't know uh, beforehand until they start revealing stuff to us. Should we see who that is? Name and shame. Looks like a female avatar. I'd love to just come and watch people racing and then... Scoop up the ships. I'm scared now that I'm going to fall through. Yeah, hopefully, Lone Drake, that'll be 319. I don't know if that's going to happen in 319, though. I guess if they can separate the saddlebags, then there's a potential that that will happen. But that doesn't mean that we'll be able to take other people's stuff and sell it. Andrew! Why not? You can sell that. Flying in an arrow, which did not go well. Again, 319, we've got a couple of Klaus and Verna weapons there, smaller ones up there. A couple of missiles here. So much money to be made around these spots. 